Let's Talk Plows. The two main considerations really that we ask people when they come in is uh, what are you plowing uh, as far as driveways, parking lots, uh, and what are you plowing with? Um, you know, what kind of vehicle do you have to, to push? You know, every plow definitely will not fit on every truck. Um, obviously, the heavier you go in the plows, the heavier front end you need on your truck. Are you plowing your driveway? Are you plowing the road leading to your cabin? Are you plowing parking lots? Are you plowing airports? All that makes a difference. One big thing to consider is uh, the weight of the plow and uh, the weight of the truck. When plowing your own driveway, there are plows specifically designed for half ton and smaller. If you're a contractor and you're plowing parking lots, the thing to consider is coverage. You want to be able to plow as much as quick as possible. So having an extended wing plow or a straight blade with wings attached, you're going to be able to accomplish more faster and get onto your next site. Uh, this is kind of the plow that we would recommend to the homeowners do in their driveways uh, or if you just need something simple it, it will do parking lots that, that would be the simple straight blades you don't want to snow blow it you don't want anything big and crazy um, you know western's got the hts uh, the rd series from snow x the md series from buyers the full cutting edges here they are carbide steel so uh, they should last we got our plow shoes here uh, for height adjustment to keep the blade off the ground uh, so you're not cutting into gravel or dirt LED lights here, these things are heated, uh, they will melt the snow for you. LED is kind of the king in the, the lighting world. The main difference between a chain lift plow and a direct lift plow is the direct lift plows you can apply down pressure to the ram. Uh, so the lighter style blades, you can still get that pressure down into the ice, into the snowpack, uh, and get that nice clean and solid cut. The Snow Dogs mounting system here is an automatic system. This will pick it itself up and put it onto the truck uh, by itself using switches here. If you're a contractor plowing big area, these are the plows that you want. The ability to take this from scoop, windrow, and back out to straight truly makes this plow the most diverse. Extra ribs and the four trip springs makes this plow more heavy duty when it comes to the contractor need. Being a Western dealer for the last 40 years, we really know how to take care of the contractors in this industry. The heated function built in with the projector headlights allows for the max distance for throwing the light out there while you're plowing. When doing cleanup, you want to make sure that you are not leaving any snow behind. So with the wide out in full scoop mode, it articulates back and forth so that you are not losing any snow out the sides when making turns or plowing straight forward. Behind me here, we've got uh, three options for our V-plows. Uh, the V-plow being the all-terrain tire, uh, you know, the Swiss Army knife of the plowing world. The, these things can really do everything. You can get them into V-mode if you're doing first cuts, uh, lots of deep snow, things like that. You can go into scoop mode if you're trying to clean up parking lots. You can go into straight blade mode if, if you're just trying to plow. Um, they're not going to be the best at everything, but they're going to be very good at everything. If you've got lots of different contracts all over the place, driveways, uh, subdivisions, things like that, a V-Blade is honestly a tool that you absolutely are gonna want. One of the things that V-Plows do better than others is make a road. And what I mean by that is, if you haven't been out to your cabin all winter and you need to make a road back to it, the ability to throw it into that nose mode and plow straight forward and throw that snow as far out as you can, it's gonna make your job a whole lot easier. <laughs>